Hey, hello everyone and welcome to my first walkthrough movie. If you want to skip my explanation here, just click on level 1-1 to start the walkthrough. This is an idea I've had for a long while now, but haven't been able to put it into light because people didn't have the extended upload time they do now, you know, on YouTube. The idea is that there is a lot of short games out there that would only take like 3 to 5 parts at most. So instead of splitting small games into multiple parts and having them in their own small playlists and whatnot, I can put them all together in one part as sort of a game walkthrough movie, so to speak. When I make one of these, there will be an accompanying menu system like this one. Just click any level you want to see and you will be transported to that level. Whenever you want to go back to this menu, just click the button in the upper right corner. Needless to say, annotations need to be on. By having a system like this into place, that means you can watch all the game at once, in sections at a time, or just choose the level you need help with. It's entirely up to you. I hope you enjoy this walkthrough. Alright, let's get this walkthrough started. Two things that I would like to mention here before I start this is, one, I'm not going to be showing all the secrets to every level in the game. Uh, I'm going to play this just like my olden day walkthroughs. And the second thing is that since I am playing this with uh, emulator and cam studio, yeah I know I said I didn't want to use an emulator before, but I don't really have much to make videos right now, so I'm just gonna do it this way, just because I can. And in turn, I can't record with Cam Studio too long at a time. So after every world, which is four stages, I am going to uh, stop the recording, stop playing, and then start up a new recording, and then start up my save file, just as if I was playing on the SNES version of Super Mario All-Stars. You know, like you'll be able to do on your copy of Super Mario All-Stars, whether you're playing it on the SNES version or the Wii version. Um, I should mention the controls, of course. You got the jump button and the run button. You'll know which ones are which once you configure it yourself. Hey, <laughs> you can actually configure the controls on the All-Stars version, that's why I didn't really put too much thought into explaining that. Down is jump. You can't really look up, left is go to go left, right is to go right, and holy cow, that was like my worst jump ever. But there's a secret down here that I'm just going to show for the heck of it, because every single person imaginable knows about the secret and shows it in their walkthroughs. Dang it, why did I actually show it then? I'm not a conformist, I'm a gamer that is a rebel. And at the end of it, every stage, there's a flagpole. The higher you get up on the flagpole, or I should say the higher you jump up to the top of the flagpole, uh, the more points that you'll get. And that time that you see at the upper right corner there, uh, depending on the last digit of the time, you'll get fireworks at the end of it. The numbers are 1, 3, and 6 for 1, 3, and 6 fireworks respectively, of which you'll get uh, points for each of those fireworks. And there's a power up there. Hello, mead, mush, mush, yes! So I should also mention that the run button will also shoot fireballs once you get a fire flower power up. Hopefully I'll be able to get one in this first segment here so I don't have to go into explaining more later. Oh, I should also mention I don't like the controls on the original Mario 1 like in the least that's the only thing that stopped me from making a walkthrough on this for so long well besides the fact that I can't really record my SNES dang it see there's like there's like no forward momentum or control in midair well there's there's little forward momentum and control in midair so it's very hard to get for me to get used to especially coming off of games like Mario 2 Mario 3 Super Mario World etc and one up here if you keep going to the right up by these numbers here you'll get to a warp zone area type place that will let you go to 2, 3, or 4, I should say worlds 2, 3, or 4. Just thought I would mention that, but I am not going to be doing that. I'm just going to be playing through the stages normally. Yay! Because I like playing through the stages normally. I hate skipping them. I want to see the game in its entirety. <laughs> and I didn't pay much attention to the time. <laughs> I wanted to show off the whole firework thing, you know, by manipulating the time on the the clock by touching the flight pole at the right time, but I failed in my duty to do so. And there's a power up in here. I will gladly take the mushroom that's within. Yay! Okay, I'm happy. So let's continue on for Oh, uh, it was short-lived. Dang you, forward momentum. I, I would have been able to control myself and pull myself back away from that Goomba. But no, 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 that's not gonna work here. Oh, no, no. Not gonna work in the slightest. And there we go. And I... Oh, it's at six on time there, so I should get six fireworks. I didn't pay attention to the time there anyway, but I ended up getting the six firework bonus anyway. See that? Yay! 
and oh, it's Bowser's castle, it's hot and lava -y. It's so very dangerous, even though it's not all that dangerous, except for that. I, I always skip that power-up because it always bugs the heck out of me. I again, because of the controls, because I can't dodge that fire bar quick enough, curses! And then I end up losing my power-up anyway, or, or dying as small Mario here because of it. And now Bowser's gonna be shooting his fireballs. There's some secret coin blocks here, only three of them though, yeah, I know those at least. And there's Bowser! Oh, look at that, he's gone! <laughs> That's basically how Bowser fights go in the original Mario 1. Now let's get the princess! What? It's Toad! Oh, you're welcome, but oh, I was hoping for Princess Pussy. Alas, I guess we're just gonna have to go to the next castle. <sighs> Two, one, here we go. Yeah, it's after the cut, so all my scores are reset because, you know, I had to reset the game and stuff like that due to the cam studio recording thing so I guess that's kind of a bummer that we won't be able to see like my final score of sorts that after everything's all settled and done basically in the game but it's what I have to do and I don't really care about score anyway nor do I care about coins in all honesty but what I do care about is power-ups so I guess I could take this little secret up to the top here just because I can just because I found it and I actually forgot this was here completely <laughs> So, here's a coin heaven place of sorts. Oh, we are riding on a cute little cloud with horrendous controls that make it difficult to bend my jumps to collect these coins, or should say all these coins, and a Mario is strangely materializing in the distance, or should say moving in the distance, but Mario is already on screen, I don't, I don't know why he's in the background, but whatever, it doesn't make much sense. It's best not to question the game logic, because, you know, the universe can possibly implode. Come on, no power-ups. There's probably one in the, those initial questions mark blocks way at the beginning of the level but alas I didn't hit them all <laughs> next stage here we go oh it's our first underwater one swimming controls are a little bit different than uh, normal land controls obviously you just press the jump button to swim and that's pretty much it um, whenever you're hovering over a bottomless pit though it, the bottomless pit in Mario 1 does something really weird it, like sucks you down into it oh god blooper 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 okay oh here's a bottomless pit see that see that see that see how quickly it makes you go down but bloopers there they're pretty annoying because they follow you um, they can't touch you when you're on the ground and ducking if you're big and the cheap sheeps there they don't really do all that much they just swim in a straight line <laughs> I think there's red ones that move in patterns, like, I think that red one there moves back and forth. Or maybe he's just gonna shimmy himself above me, or... Okay, so... Oh, the red ones are a little faster than the green ones. Wow! That's some, uh, really extreme differentiation between the enemies. It was so extreme that I couldn't even tell the difference between them at first. <laughs> And I actually noticed I haven't explained the other enemies in the game, like the Koopas and the Goombas. Goombas, they just move left and right until they hit a wall and they turn around, or they fall off an edge. Koopas, pretty much the same thing, unless they're red. Oh no, not the Cheap Cheap Bridge. Anything but the Cheap Cheap Bridge! These kind of Cheap Cheeps are evil, because they jump out at you and will happily kill you. I'm trying to keep them ahead of me. They always jump out in the direction that you're pointing, like that. And what'll happen is that you'll be able to kind of avoid them. Well, I should say most of the time they jump out in the direction that you're pointing. Oh boy. Scared of oh my god, god fish. Anyway, as I was saying about the Koopas, they uh once you would jump on them, you can jump uh, I should say you can well, I guess you can jump on them to push their shell forward into other enemies and sort of combo attack them. The same goes with Buzzy Beetles, which we'll meet a little bit later. But for now, 2-3 is done! I always thought that sounded like the... Like the initial rift of the Woody Woodpecker theme. Like... You know, that kind of thing. Sounds very similar to that, in my opinion. And whoa, boy. Oh boy. Or at least the way that they, that they orchestrated it in the All Stars version of the game. Uh oh. Careful of the fire bars. I wouldn't really consider these an enemy, but they do hurt you when they touch you, obviously. I mean, come on, they're made of fire. Do not go over the roof here, otherwise, you'll be trapped for good. Um, is there gonna be any. 
I was expecting more fire bars. <laughs> uh, maybe that's just a level design thingy that's in like late, later levels and duck jump. Oh, I didn't make it, but yet this, at the same time, I still made it. <laughs> sorry, Bowser. I am so sorry you failed. Now let's get the princess. More toads, what is this blasphemy? How many castles does Bowser have anyway? <sighs> uh, this is unbelievable. Okay, world three, one, here we go, baby. We got some jumping Koopa Troopas here. They got little wings on their backs there. They're Parachoopas, actually, that's the name of them. And uh, they, uh, that's pretty much their only attack. They kind of jump off the screen or into pits most of the time. And that was a horrendous jump beyond, hor whoa, horrendousness. And that was even worse. <laughs> Let's hope for the best on this next run here, because that first run was terrible. And I don't think it could possibly get any worse than that. You know what, I'm just going to let that shimmy on underneath me, because I don't like these jump controls. <laughs> um, a lot of people are probably going to be like, well, you just don't know how to use the jump controls. Well, I'm so used to the other ones that I just can't get used to these older ones. <laughs> I mean, the newer uh, Mario jump controls just feel so much more refined that you're able to bend your jumps in midair and stuff like that. And stars give you invincibility. Hammer Brothers, thank God I have invis invincibility. They throw hammers at you. They are evil. And is this the first time I ever got a fire flower power up in this walkthrough? Yep, just press the run button, shoot fireballs. It kills most enemies. Those trampolines are really awkward to jump on as well. You have to get the timing down when you press and hold the jump button. And no, oh, no, I don't want to be cornered. I don't want death. Death should not rain upon PK Gam. And oh, there's a trick that you can use to gain unlimited lives here. If you bounce a Koopa over and over and over again against these stairs, stairs like this, it's pretty easy to do uh, if you know how to do it. But I'm not gonna go ahead and demonstrate it because, as I said, I'm gonna be resetting my lives anyway after every single. Uh, level change, you know, because of the fact that I have to stop recording with Cam Studio in that time, and yeah. So let's just move on from that. So there's videos out there on YouTube if you want to see other people do that. I don't really care all that much for life tricks and stuff like that. Um, I should mention that if you go over 99 lives, though, and go to zero, you'll get an automatic game over. I guess the, that's the game's way of uh, telling you that you are a cheater. <laughs> and what did I do that for? I don't know. Just get up there. Thank you, Mario. You are a valued member of the Mushroom Kingdom, but unfortunately, your princess protecting skills have yet to be improved. Uh, ever since the first game, Princess Peach has gotten kidnapped, and it's, it's just been downhill from there. And she's got ki kidnapped in worse and worse ways since then, and it just seems like no one learns from their mistakes, and that is causing a big problem in the Mushroom Kingdom to this very day. <sighs> it's, it's a sad, sad state. Why are you shooting off fireworks anyway? I said this is a sad state, not one to be celebrated. Although, at the same time, if Princess... <laughs> if Princess Peach wouldn't get kidnapped, you know, we wouldn't have Mario games. That would make a lot more sense to be celebrated that way. I mean, Mario games are pretty good. At least in my opinion, they are. <clears throat> so, yeah. And, ooh, power up, power up. I'm gonna need that since I plopped myself right into the hole there due to my forward momentum. <laughs> Um, here's a little elevator of sorts. When you stand on one end, the other end goes up and vice versa. If they get too far up or too far down, they'll break off and then you'll fall to your doom if you're still on them. And that's pretty much all there is to these special platforms here. Can I get over the gold posts? Uh, no, I didn't think so. <laughs> but I got near top of the gold posts. But yeah, if you get up to the top, you'll get a one-up. Uh, 5,000 is the second highest prize there, so I guess that's pretty decent. 3-4 castle! Oh, we got Poto Boos jumping out from the lava, and there's dangerous fire bars all over the place now. There's no place is safe, and uh, hello, Fire Flower. Actually, I would like to demonstrate something if I can keep my Fire Flower all the way to the end. Because it's possible to kill Bowser with, like, fire... With Eight fireballs, I think it is. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll count them if I ever get over there. And oh, no, no. I don't think so, man. Oh, boy. This is offset timing. <laughs> I do not like... PK Gam, do not like... No! I wanted to fireball him to death. Okay, what do we have here? We got... A, a failure! <laughs> I hit my head on the ceiling. And then I touched Bowser. That was... Horrendous beyond belief. 
<sighs> and I don't like these Poto Boos either. They're really unpredictable in that what happens is that they can pop. <sighs> is that they can jump out whenever they want to, even when they jump back into the lava. I should say they fall back into the lava. So they're very unpredictable. The same goes with Bullet Bills, which I'll get into a little bit later as well. <laughs> Always be wary of. Whoa, see how quickly that one came out of the lava? I almost took a hit because of that. Okay, let's try and get under him the normal way here. And do a little jump, jump, jump. There we go. Yay, that's another way you can defeat Bowser. World 3 complete. Now give us a princess this time. More toads? How many toads are there? This is getting ridiculous. I would like a prize of seeing her naked. That Mario has never seen her naked. You know, I really don't think that's too much to ask. I mean, Mario has rescued her so many times, it's ridiculous, and she will not let him s ah, let him see her naked once, and I think we all think that would be the best possible prize for Mario, rather than, hey, thanks for rescuing me, and that's pretty much it. Ah, I hate the controls. <laughs> So let's just run through 4-1 and completely skip that power-up whatsoever, otherwise I'm probably going to jump myself into a hole, or get a spiny on the head, one of the two, that probably wouldn't be a good thing, and oh, I hate when he throws him on top of the pipes like that, because he get in my way and I can't jump over the pipe directly like that, and yeah, that's uh, Lakitu up there, he throws spinies, you can jump on him to kill him, but he follows the screen along, so don't expect to get him, oh boy, oh I got him, yeah! <laughs> I got really lucky there because he sometimes just like juts forward or goes really quickly and then you he slips off from underneath you and or he throws a spiny at you and it causes problems all over the place. No one likes Lakitu in the original Mario. Well, he's a pretty cool enemy actually if there's a good level based off him. Like that was a pretty good level. Nice and flat where spinies can roam around and stuff like that. Oh, Buzzy Beetles. We're going to see some Buzzy, buzzy Beetles this time. Here we go! <laughs> and also, uh, Lakitu is evidently a pretty dang good cameraman as well, because as you've seen in Super Mario 64, he has been able to follow Mario no matter where he goes with his camera. Even though that sometimes he gives you some awkward angles, don't uh, critique him too much for that. He's very sensitive about that, and I would like that mushroom to go... I was going to say mushroom to go the other way, but... Because uh, I am not going to jump over that gap to get it. Um, if you go past the ceiling here... Oh, wait, actually, there's, there's a... This is a warp zone area here. Um, can I, like, get up, please? I think I can. Yeah, that vine up there will take you to a bonus area, which will then take you to a warp zone that can take you to world 6, 7, or 8. However, if you go up above the ceiling at the end of the level, just like you did in 1-2, there will be a warp zone that can take you to world 5. Obviously, the better warp zone is the one that takes you to 8, but neither of them are something that I favor, as I said before. I want to play through this game normally, just go through the stages, and have fun with it, basically. So, we're nearing the end here, and by the way, Buzzy Beetles can't be burned by fire there, but otherwise, they're pretty much just like a Koopa Troopa, and boop! Uh oh, I think I'm gonna take the upper road here, there we go, a lot safer, that makes me ha happy plumber, and there we go, that makes me quite happy indeed, and again, you never see Mario plumbing whatsoever, there's pipes in the game, but do you ever see him plumbing them? Never, never, ever. I am hard-pressed to even call him a plumber. He's more of a princess rescuer, so I guess maybe he's part... Arr, I didn't have forward momentum to give myself some uh, height there in my jump. What a game over! What is this blast for me? Be right back. All right, we're back here at 4-3 with five lives. Hopefully this is going to go a whole lot better. I'm just gonna start this right from the start because I died right over there. <laughs> So that was a pretty bad situation. There we go. See, I had plenty of rhythm that time to get back up there. Anyway, as I was saying about Mario, yeah, it's, I, I would be very hard-pressed to call him a plumber. I, I have never once seen him plumb. There, there was that time in Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga that he plugged some pipes um, to unlock the Beanstar thingy, but 
at the same time, all he was doing was hitting corks in holes. I'm pretty sure we can all do that. Have you ever seen him fit pipes? I've never seen him fit pipes once. <sighs> and that's disappointing. I mean, he is a plumber. I'm expecting to do some plumbing in these games, but we end up with a platformer game. Ah, It's completely misleading, and I think that is telling kids that they should make misleading thumbnails and titles in their YouTube videos as a result. By the way, this is a little maze-like thing. Anyway, that is against the YouTube Terms of Service, and I don't recommend that you do that, but this game is teaching it. Ah, Yes, I'm kidding. <laughs> Oh, I hit my, right in the fire bar as I was joking around there. Anyway, that was the correct place to go, and this is a little more dangerous than other ones here. Ooh, the, success! Yay! Now there's four of them for World 4. The irony is stunning. But no princess. Here we go, starting World 5, and it's an icy world, even though it's not slippery whatsoever. It's kind of silly in a way that it's all snowy, and there's no ice physics whatsoever. I always found that kind of funny, because every time you see snow or ice in a Mario game, oh yeah, it's going to be there to annoy you. Star power! Woohoo! If only I could collect 120 stars and restore the power to the castle, but alas, there isn't that many stars in this game. And I'm pretty sure there's a secret in that, that higher pipe up there, and I'm already at the end of the stage. Wow. <laughs> stars really rape levels when you just run through them like that. Very, very handy to have if you can find one. 5-2 is next. Here we go. And I really clicked through that a little bit too fast there. <laughs> I shouldn't click through them too fast because on this whole movie selection thing I planned to... Oh, no! <laughs> what I planned on doing was like like starting you at the very start of like these screens right here. And so you, so you can see the very start level from the very start, starting from that screen. And is there going to be a... Please tell me there's a power up in one of these. <laughs> I would really, really appreciate that muchly. Thank you. Okay. And, oh, I do not like Hammer Brothers when I have to defeat them from above. The best way to defeat a Hammer Brother is from below, but otherwise, you're screwed. Okay, get it, get it, get it, get it. Yes! Happy days. Sunday, Monday, happy days indeed. And uh, the bullet bill cannons, as I was describing to you before, um, they're a lot more unpredictable in this Mario game than they are in others because they don't fire in time, timed intervals and I kind of screwed myself here, I think. No, I'm safe. I think, kind of, maybe. Uh, but yeah, you can predict when the bullet bills are going to come out. So you can... You can sometimes get across them without them firing at all, and sometimes they'll fire twice in like a half second. Hello, star! Yahoo! And whoa, I almost jumped myself into that pit there if I would have kept running there. Well, I could have jumped myself between that gap and the edge, but as I said, I am not confident with these controls whatsoever. Uh, in fact, they make me a little bit leery, so that's why I've been extra cautious here. Success! Woo! Peace, baby. Peace. That's what Mario was saying when he raised his fingers like that. Oh yeah. Oh, I should mention something else about Mario that a lot of people don't seem to notice, is that people think that he hits blocks with his head, but that's not the case at all. When he jumps up, you see that he pushes his fist out just like that, so in turn, he is actually hitting blocks with his fist and not with uh, his head. It only looks like that he's hitting it with his head, like certain things like that, but otherwise he is supposed to be hitting it with his fist, otherwise that would go. Oh! Kinda hurt his noggin. But I think that hole hurt his bottom a little bit more than his noggin would ever get hurt by that box. Yes. Just saying, holy cow. And by the way, there's a random bullet bill generator here in case you can't tell. Uh, you'll never know when they pop up, so you just might run yourself face first into a bullet. And that... Wow, didn't have forward momentum. <laughs> and that will ruin your day like no other. Two lives left for two stages. I am not feeling confident about that. <laughs> like I said before, not confident about playing this Mario whatsoever. That's why I never played it before. But hey, this is just for fun, and I'll eventually get through it, no matter how many re-recordings I have to do. <laughs> Wait, am I at the end? Am I at the end? Yes! I made it to the castle, at least with two lives. <sighs> oh, boy. <laughs> 
I think the reason why I had that game over before was because I, was because I didn't turn off the game between recording sessions like I did the other two times. I, I found out that I was able to just uh, keep the game open and just stop Cam Studio. But I don't know if that's a very good idea now, <laughs> especially when I was, especially when I game over unexpectedly like that last time because I had less lives when I started with than usual. Oh boy! <laughs> like I would normally start with five lives, but I think I started with less. That's why I underestimated how many times I died in that area. Oh, I don't like Poto boos. They're so unpredictable. Oh! 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 Um, careful. Careful, Potobu, go up, thank you. Go up, go up, yes, victory! Now where's the princess? This is the fifth castle. <sighs> Five toads now. I'm happy to rescue you, but come on, man. Where's the princess? Tell me. Got any information? Well, those toads didn't have anything whatsoever in terms of information, so I'm continuing the search on my own for Princess Pussy and getting myself a power-up along the way and hopefully avoiding those spinies of death. Do not drop that on my noggin, please. Thank you. And hope, uh, the trick to getting through Lakitu there is usually just to keep moving forward as quickly as, and as smoothly as you possibly can because, you, because he kind of throws them over your head and off the left side of the screen then. So that's the idea, at least in practice. Practice, and that was another lucky jump. <laughs> um, I should mention something about uh, getting game overs in this game as well is if you get a game over on the All-Stars version, what happens is that you have to restart from the beginning of the world. So let's say that I got a game over on 6-3 that's coming up. I would have to restart the world from 6-1 and move onward. But it's even worse on the NES version, so uh, it's like you die and then you end up going to the very start of the game. Unless you know a little trick here. Um, if you hold the select button after you get to a certain world and after you get a game over, if you hold the select button and then start your game, you'll be able to resume the game right back from the world that you started from. Just like the All-Stars version, basically. So the All-Stars version makes it a little bit easier to remember how to get to a later world because, you know, it's built right into the code and wow, I took way too long to react to that jump. <laughs> I, I, I was attempting to get it over the cliff. I don't know what I was thinking there. I, sh I should have just made the jump there. I should I should have just jumped up there. Excuse me, or jumped across. Whatever my what am I trying to say here? Anyway, let's just move on and completely skip that statement whatsoever. I'm hoping for a power up, but surprisingly, there's nothing around here. Hmm. I'm just gonna move on ahead. <laughs> I don't want to go back under the whoa under there. And dang it, I had too much forward momentum there, and I overshot the Goomba and nearly died because of it. I was touching the pipe. You shouldn't have popped out of there. Not at all, man. And I noticed that my life counter didn't reset even after I reset the game, so I guess that wasn't the case in, t in terms of resetting the game and getting five lives after the resets, uh, like by turning the game off altogether. So my theory was off completely. <laughs> Yay! But, but now we know, man. Now we know. So uh, I have two lives to get through this, evidently. Maybe what I should do is just game over after each uh, segment of recording and then uh, just get my five lives back just to make things a little easier on myself. Just soar over my head. Thank you. And yay! I should get three fireworks for this. See? 313. The last digit of it. Wait for it. One, two, three, yay! <laughs> I don't know why I wanted to point that out, but there you go. Oh wait, I got one life to finish this? Oh boy, this is not going to go well. <laughs> I have little faith in myself whatsoever. But there's a chance that I can make it. It is possible. And especially if I get myself some power-ups and stay on these two square moving platforms with what I consider the crappiest Mario controls. <laughs> Of which someone is going to yell at me, they're the best controls ever! And, you know, turn on their caps lock and turn into a keyboard warrior, and you get the idea, but I'm not going to worry about that whatsoever because this is just my opinion. And I'm making the walkthrough on the GameCube anyway, because I'm having fun with it no matter what. Even if I don't like the controls, I still enjoy playing through the game. Okay, one last level for one last life. <gasps> Relax. Just look Bowser right in the eye and say, 
I will not die to you. I will not lose- oh. I should have looked into the eyes of that fire bar instead, but that wasn't the case. And oh, I knew I shouldn't have done that. I should only just avoid that thing power up when it's in that position. Urgh. Now there's a lot more fire bars down this very familiar passage. Urgh, game over. I'll be right back. Pfft. Oh, come on. Uh, no momentum. Oh, too much momentum. Okay, we're back here again with one life. Let's just see how well this is gonna go. I don't have much faith in this, especially since I cannot seem to get this power up without taking a hit. Oh my god, I got it! <laughs> I'm going to attempt to flop off here and get across. Yeah, I actually got a power up through here. I can't believe it. <laughs> I don't know what it, is, what it is about getting that power up in that formation, but it screws me just about every time. Except for that time, which was a very, very, very rare okay, ooh, occasion. And this is not going to end well. There'll, there'll be those triple th or three coin blocks there just as there was before. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That was really, really lucky that I hit the platform. <laughs> okay, is there going to be a princess this time? It's six castles, man. Oh, there's another to- well, I rescued four more of them, but they have an awfully large hat this time. Where's the princess? World 7-1, here we go. Oh, I should also mention something about Mario. this Mario game in particular, is that... Uh, whatever you- Whoa! Is that if you go too far forward and- Well, I shouldn't say go too far forward. You have to move forward in order to progress through the game. But what I mean is that you can't go back. The screen doesn't scroll backwards. And I should also mention, this is the first time in the history of my channel that I'm playing a game that is actually older than I am. Oh! <gasps> yes, I can't believe it either. <laughs> Normally- Normally, I don't jump into that hole. No, actually, normally I play games that are older, or I should say that are younger than I am, so this is definitely a change of pace. Will I be able to finish a game that is older and has more experience than I have? <gasps> I guess we're gonna find out. <laughs> uh, if you're seeing this uploaded, there's a pretty good chance I have already done it, so yeah, just giving you a little heads up on that. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, what's the point of having a walkthrough movie if it isn't all self-contained? Yeah. I panicked. I panicked greatly, and I would really like to kill you. No, I, you know, I'll leave you. I'll leave you. If you want to live that badly, I'll leave you. <laughs> it's not worth it. It's not worth seeing if there's a power inside there. Or power up, excuse me. Oh, I am not liking this whatsoever. <laughs> Holy... Pooper doopers. Oh, I think they're getting closer too. Oh, it's like a freaking wall of hammers. <laughs> now they're on the lower route. They have to be higher than me for me to be able to pass between them. And like this, like this, like this. Yes, good opportunity. Good move. I am happy that I lived. And here comes a dangerous buzzy beetle trouncing itself down the stairs like a slinky wood. <gasps> Finished. By the way, I should mention that World 7 is where the game starts to get quite hard. World 8? Oh, that's gonna be evil, especially 8-3. Just the, the mere mention of 8-3 brings shivers down the spines of many Mario veterans. Oh yes. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take advantage of my knowledge of bloopers and just walk along the ground here so that they don't touch me whatsoever. See, they can... They can come down near me, but they can't touch me as long as I'm on the seabed. Uh, the only thing that you really have to worry about, if there's even any there, is cheap cheeps, you know, just ramming themselves into you down on the ground there. And I should mention something else about bloopers, is that they always go in the direction that you're facing when, when you're near them. So you can force them to go over to the left if you're facing that way when they get near you. Watch. See that? And so they're actually a little bit predictable. Ooh, cheap, cheap barrage here trying to squeeze me between that uh, blooper. I don't think so. I ex expertly navigated my way through that obstacle of fish and squid-like. And we're just gonna wait for this squid dude to move on. Oh, he's probably gonna move back to the right. Oh no, he moved to the left. That's very helpful to me because I can just shimmy myself along here. Um, I should also mention you can't jump out of the water uh, in the original Mario as well. 
Uh, so that wasn't, I mean, that didn't come around until Super Mario Brothers 3, I think. So basically, when you're in the water, you're stuck in the water. So don't expect to be able to just jump over everything. You just kind of like get sucked back into the water for whatever reason. It feels kind of weird, but eh. If you're underwater the whole time, I guess you can live with it. Or at least I can. <laughs> I actually like the underwater controls in uh, this Mario. Well, actually, the underwater controls in all the Marios are good. Oh, no. No. Anything but the fish bridge. We're all gonna die. I'm so scared. Normally, what you're supposed to do is run right through this as fast as you possibly can. That's what most people say is the best route to taking care of these cheap, cheap barrages like this. But in my opinion, I always had an easier time taking my time through the center of them and just letting them flop whichever way that they want to and then adjusting my position accordingly. Woo! <laughs> I almost got a coupon on the face. Yes, a freeze is a real thing. You just look it up in the dictionary. If you if you can spell that, I'm not gonna spell it out for you. Once you find the once you find the dictionary word, you'll know what I'm talking about, and then you, and then you'll know the spelling. And we're off to seven four, also known as the castle. If you didn't notice, every fourth level of I should say every every fourth stage of every level is a castle. It's quite predictable in that fashion. Oh, took the wrong pathway, so that's the down, I mean, I have to stay on the down route there. The lower route. Whoa, 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 uh, That's what I like to hear. Now let's try the upper route, because it's harder to get to. No, that's not it. Okay. So let's try the down route. I always forget the combinations of these. Uh, middle? Middle? Yes, so it's probably the upper. Yes! Success! That little ding ding is the indication that you did it. Well, oh, I just jumped right in the hole rather than running across it. Oh. Oh. Well, this isn't too hard to get through unless that potoboo gets in my way. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this room infinitely loops unless that you unless you take the right path, basically. Oops, I need to get up there. There we go. Yay, progression. And I'm pretty sure I have to take the upper road here. Yep. Yes, that is correct. Middle route, middle route. That seems a little harder to do. Now the lower route. Is it? Is it? Uh, I didn't hear any beep beep. Did I accidentally take the take a wrong turn or something like that? I must have because I'm back over here. So ding. Okay, middle. There we go. So it's probably the upper. There we go. I have made it. Hopefully unscathed because now he's gonna have a crap ton of hammers to throw at me as well. Oh boy Here we go. Holy poopers. I'm not liking the look of this. Back up please Bowser so I can get away from the poto boo there That'll get in my way. Happy days! Always pick your opportunity wisely to move forward Princess! 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 No! Seven mini toads! What a rip off! I just want to save the princess. I haven't gotten anything in so long. So long. Where is she? Why must I continue to go through this? Why can't she just be in one of these castles? Why does it have to be the last castle I'm searching? Why does it always have to be the last place you search? Seriously, and why is there so much lag? Holy cow. <laughs> it looks like that Koopa there just dodged that shell altogether, but it was because he was off screen. I think there's a star in this third block here. I don't, I'm not positive about that, but yeah. Anyway, World 8, it is, ooh, World 8 is evil. 8-2 and 8-3 are gonna destroy me. Oh, there's a star in this one, that's right. I mean, oh my god, they are going to kill me like no other game has killed me before. Or at least that's what I'm thinking is gonna happen. That's what usually happens to me. <laughs> and it, that's another reason why I never really wanted to do this game up until this point because of the difficulty of this world. Holy cow, that was a close one. That's like the only hard jump in World 8-1 though. 
Uh, these are a little bit nerve-wracking, but they aren't all that bad. Just jump in place and then move to the right and you'll be just fine. Woo! Happy days! And I just noticed that I was quite poor on time there. <laughs> that makes me a very happy plumber that doesn't plumb whatsoever. A2! We've got Lakitu this time, and he's gonna, going to be throwing his spinies all over the place. And we've got stairwells to contend with as well. That's going to cause us tons of trouble, which is probably going to make you guys quite happy to see me squirm. And oh boy, this is... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. What the heck did they do there? It was like they touched each other, then they split... Uh, they split in opposite directions. That was like the weirdest thing. <sighs> well, I'm okay, I guess. Well, maybe not mentally sane, but I'm okay. Like, physically. For now. I'm going to completely skip those blocks. <laughs> uh, there's one up here if you dare attempt to rush to get it. I don't recommend that you do that, though. I'm just going to keep going on my leisurely pace here, and actually, I can get it. Yay! Well, I, I guess that worked out after all. <laughs> it replenishes. Oh, that life that I lost. That was a really close one. And there's a power-up in one of those two boxes. I really want to scroll that off screen. <laughs> Thank you. And hold down to make sure you don't get a bullet in the face. There we go. Always keep your distance away from bullet bill cannons. And don't just jump always on top of them. Don't try and jump in front of them. Always on top of them. That will prevent them from shooting. As well as you won't be in their line of fire. Oh, I forgot about this. Oh, wait. No, no. I didn't forget about this jump. But it, it came up a lot earlier than I expected. Oh god, and you have to be with good forward momentum and everything. Uh, I do not like this one whatsoever. Okay, jump on the first one. Yeah! This is going surprisingly well, and I am not going to jump into any holes. I don't care what that Goomba has to say or that bullet bill. I'm going to make it through here. Whether I have to... Oh god, I just realized I don't have a power-up going into 8-3. <sighs> That is not gonna be good. You what? You definitely want fireballs on 8-3. There's a crap ton of Hammer Brothers. Hammer Brothers that don't jump up to higher levels either. Ones that are always on your level, basically. Oh boy. Oh god. I am so scared right now. I think there's one coming up. Uh, there's actually two coming up with this formation that I see here. Any power-ups, any power-ups in here, I would be very, very appreciative. Anything? I'm going to go on the upper route here before I attempt to go any further right. Eh, please? Yes! Yay! Okay! <sighs> I'm getting a little frightened here, and I'm just gonna duck underneath you. See how quickly those bullet bills just fired there? See, they have a really odd attack pattern. Well, it's not odd, it's random. And we all know that random things are dangerous. Well, except for me. <laughs> yeah, okay, come on. Come on. Get down. What?! You're not allowed to do that! You can't jump down two levels! Oh... Uh, oh... Uh, oh, I hope I don't... Please, something? Oh, boy. Oh, uh, wait, can I, like, bowl over Hammer Brothers? That would be something that I would definitely appreciate. Holy cow! I heard the sound of it bouncing back, and I was like, Ooh, get back, man. Get back! Holy cow! Jump, jump, jump. Okay, I need you to jump when you're moving forward. That is your weakness. Holy cow. This is, the, like, the only way to get past Hammer Brothers without power-ups. Oh my god, I actually made it to the end. Don't die. Please. Don't die! Yes! <laughs> This is going so well. I can't believe it's going this well. A4, final castle. This castle is quite the puzzle of false dead ends and stuff like that. Um, One of these pipes I can go down into, which will take me to the next area. Is it this one? I'm not sure. <sighs> I'm really not sure. I, I never remember the combination of the castles. I've explained this before, I've got horrendous memory, and I hope I didn't go too far there. I think I did. Wait, wait, no, wait, this is the right one. I think, isn't it the right one? Um, it probably isn't. 
Oh, okay, and there's a lit there's a time limit too, but I've got a bunch of lives here to figure this out This castle isn't hard at all except for the fact that oh wait 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 I'm on the right track here except for the fact that you There we go. Um There I don't believe there's any power-ups whatsoever and the, the castle is very easy. It just, it's just quite hard to remember the puzzle. Oh Jesus No, I forgot about these Wait, 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 this one? I think it was this- YES! This is the correct path, okay. Now be careful in here, there's a bunch of fire bars underwater. Yep, don't question the game logic, people. Otherwise the universe may implode. Also, that blooper can for some reason touch fire bars. Go to the left, thank you. And there we go, I'm going to shimmy along there. And hopefully make my way to the pipe that's on this side, and I'm on the right track. This is going extremely well. I, well, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that. There's still... Oh, yes. You. You've killed me many times in the past, my hammer brother friend. And Potoboo? No! Okay. Ooh, final battle. Final battle. Final battle. Is there any Potoboos in his lava? I, I really hope there isn't. I don't see any popping up there, so I should be able to just like run my way underneath him. Yes! Oh! Girl scream! The princess is here! Yes! Nakedness! Now close off! Skin! Yes! Huggles! No, I want more than just a kiss. I went through eight worlds, 24 stages. You're welcome. I'm so happy to save the kingdom and what? There's a more difficult quest. Please tell me after I press start, I'll be able to see her naked. No! <laughs> Not again. No! No! Why? Just... Why? <laughs> Even after I found her, I got nothing out of it. <laughs>